It's bee swarming season. Would you know what to do if you were attacked by bees? Tonight, a taking action event on how to survive the swarm. ABC 15's Joe Bartels is live, and Joe, you're suited up here, and you got some company. Yeah, I'm decked out in a bee suit here, and I'm joined by the Phoenix Fire Department. They're giving us a very important live demonstration here where they use this foam. It's a soap substance mixed with water here, and it's very effective for knocking down bees. But the important thing is here, why do bees swarm in the first place, and how do you handle it even when you see a hive? They're on the move, hundreds, sometimes thousands at a time, and they can set up shop just about anywhere. At some point, there's too many bees, so they break off and half of them leave. The queen bee goes, they follow the queen bee, but they don't fly as well as the other bees, so the queen bee will stop, like in somebody's front yard. A battalion chief with Goodyear Fire says there's a science behind the swarm. The bees will come up, protect the queen, and then they send scout bees out to see if there's a suitable area there. Goodyear Fire says the mere presence of the bees doesn't necessarily mean it's an emergency. 30 calls for bees in Goodyear last year, only two turned out to be serious. Most of the time we arrive because somebody sees a, a hive, what they believe to be a hive in their tree in their front yard, they'll call 911. We show up, we look, we go, yeah, they're bees. Are they attacking anybody? No. Okay, well, you need to call a beekeeper. When the stingers do come out, it can get serious for anybody around. Really aggressive bees um, will get us through, through, through the top. Yeah, they can. Firefighters are the first line of defense during an attack. Firefighter Leon is getting stung. He needs to be calm. Can you guys please get the red line over here? And that's when they call for their red line. That foamy detergent water mixture, you might remember seeing it on bee calls. The foam is very effective for knocking the bees out of the air. Uh -huh. So they, it, they hit the ground pretty quick. So effective in fighting bees, it's only used as a last resort. You're going to uh, better get turned out because the bees are all around the truck. And again, the bee foam is so effective in knocking down bees. It's only used as a very last resort. This is after bees have been identified as attacking somebody and someone's life is at risk. Before then, you want to call a beekeeper. And in fact, let me bring in uh, Captain Rita Bigler with Phoenix Fire. Uh, Rita, what should people do even before help arrives if someone is being attacked? One of the things is to get away from the scene, go inside a, a car, get inside a home just to get away where all the active bees are swarming at. The other thing is to run, get away from the environment where those bees are at. And ultimately, if someone is being stung, pets are being stung or humans being stung, you want to call 911 and get help on its way. Yeah, and if you try to intervene, you risk becoming a victim yourself. So it's very important not to, if you can, to get involved to call uh, for help right away. Rita, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, there is a lot more bee science that we were not able to get to tonight. We have an entire section on ABC15.com with this story. You want to check it out. Reporting live in Phoenix, Joe Bartels, ABC15, Arizona. It's back. A health alert tonight. The first Valley mosquito to test positive this year for West Nile. State health officials saying it was in the East Valley.